Hello everyone, welcome to Crafty Kitties. Crafty Kitties is a program for kids ages 2 to 4. With the help of an adult, they'll find the materials they'll need and then complete a craft project. Today, we will be making jewelry out of straws and a piece of yarn. They will also need a pair of safety scissors. So, get your materials ready and we're going to get started. Very well, we have our materials ready. We have some straws and we have a pair of scissors and some yarn. Okay, you can measure your little ones around the neck and then cut the piece of a string that you're going to need or you don't have to. You can just make a very long string and then cut it into smaller pieces. One thing I want to bring to your attention is that for my sample, I used some uh, straws that were wider than others and so if that is the case they tend to kind of get lost inside the wider the you know thinner ones get to get lost inside the wider ones so if you can manage and you find the same kind of straws it would work better because that won't happen so um, first thing uh, make sure you your little one is using the right hand and that they have are holding the scissors the right way either if they some some of these scissors like this can be used for left-handed and right-handed kids but uh, maybe your child doesn't have that defined yet and that's most likely what's going to happen so just make sure that they use uh, the scissors properly as much as you can and safely or uh, sometimes it is good to hold the piece that they are cutting for them and let them cut. I also want to say that it's easier if you make like one inches, uh, direct them to cut like one inch long pieces because otherwise it is too long and then the yarn has a harder time going through. So we're going to cut some pieces of yarn. Oh, I'm sorry, of the straws. <laughs> Some straws into about one inch length. Of course, I'm doing this super fast, but you're going to take your time. You're going to talk to your little one. You can talk about colors, lengths, who they are making their craft for. They're gonna, are they going to keep it? Are they going to give it away? There. Talk to them and enjoy the time with your little ones. Then, I think that this is just going to be a three-color craft. And no, I really want the other two colors in here. So we're going to use some yellow too. And again, like I said, you can either measure your kid's neck or hand and then work from there, or you can just make a string and then let them choose afterwards. So I'm going to go with the longer string and then cut it. And you just put it inside. One hand holds it, the other side, the other hand pulls it. Hold it. And you'll see what I was talking about because like my yellow straws are kind of thinner than the other ones and they tend to get lost. And also, see, the longer the piece is, the harder it is for the yarn. The piece of the straw you have, it is harder for the yarn to go through. Very well. See, here you have the, what I was talking about. Keep in mind that when you work on a craft with your little ones, you are working not only on the craft itself. That is like the means that allows you to develop social skills, language skills, uh, fine motor skills. So working on craft projects 
can become a real thing you want to do with them. See, no yellow. It got lost in the other ones. But that's okay. I hope everybody has fun doing this craft. And I hope you make some to give away too, little ones. Okay? If you get a chance, you can take a picture of yourself wearing your jewelry and send it to me. If you allow me to post it, I will. Otherwise, we will just be, I'll be just happy to see that. Very well. This is my necklace. And I have another one here. And very well. I hope you had fun. Well, I hope everybody had fun. I am actually wearing my necklace. It matches my earrings. Um, I really appreciate the time that you spend with us. And please, parents, remember that when you work on a craft with your little one, you're helping them develop language skills. They're helping them develop their motor skills, making those little hand muscles stronger. And also uh, their social skills, because they have to learn to wait they have to learn to share please join me next time and have a happy summer bye everyone <laughs>